All right, back to work on building some knives today. Show you all my little saw. I made a modification to it. It still was wiggling more than I wanted it to. I may have to replace that table stand, the bottom part of it, but it's all right for now. What I did, I built me a little bracket. Right here with this screws in, there was some threads still exposed here. So all I did was found a, a little uh, bolt that would fit in there, put a lock washer on it, and took another piece of that uh, the rod off the old table here, flattened it, and just made a little brace. Put it right there. And that steadied the whole thing up just perfect. Now where it's sitting right now, I don't have a lot of light. So I built me a work light. <laughs> now when I bought the saw, they had those coupons, you know, Harbor Freight does with stuff for free. And this little light here was a free light, so why not? But right now, it gives me enough light where I can see pretty good. I've been cutting. I've got to cut some more off of this one. And I'll show you all this one later on. This is a really cool little little deal here. And let's see. Gar skin sheath. Catfish skin sheath. That's all one sheath right there. I'll show you that later too. But the uh, epoxy is just about dried on that. And while I'm letting that dry, I'm working on this. And I've got William, William and Gary, this big piece of high carbon steel, that's y'all's right there. I'll get those going here shortly. Uh, forgot your name, uh, Darius. There's your handy skinner, working on that one. I had that yesterday, I forgot to show it to you. All right, we'll be back in a little while when I got something else to show you. Mike, you're absolutely right. <laughs> this is something I've never seen before. See that crow? There's a bunch of crows are knocking my pears out of the tree and eating them. Well, they eat about half of it and leave the rest of it laying. Now, pears are not ripe yet, so I can't pick them. And at this rate, I'm not going to have any. Same thing on the tree over there. They about got all those. But I have never seen that before. And those pear trees are years and years old. They do good every year. It's a D'Anjo pear. It's not the Florida sand pear. I just wonder why they're doing that. Y'all ever seen that before? All right, let's wrap it up for today. Uh, it's not been a as a productive day as I want it to be. I had another fail on the Gar Skin Chief on the big one. Uh, anyway, that big Gar Skin I had, I'm down to the very last bit of it. And I think it'll work this time. Uh, nobody's fault with mine, but it'll be uh, it's still drying, it's clamped up. I'll show you that tomorrow. I think it'll turn out fine this time, the way I had to do it. But I did manage to get a couple finished. And we'll show those to you right quick. Uh, Chris, get your Jane Noel Skinner. You want an antler tip to sort of wrap around your hand? I think that'll work. I think that's what you want. Very, very, very sharp. But everything that goes out of here, very sharp. Put you a long lanyard on there, you can adjust it if you need to. Or take it off if you want to. 
Now this one is a catfish skin sheath. I also had a bunch of trouble with this thing. Uh, but I got it did. It, um, now this is a blue cat, blue catfish. The skin I brought back from Ohio, um, back in the spring, we went up there on that fishing trip. And we didn't have time to let the skins dry when we skinned them. So I put them in the freezer. And uh, I had a whole bunch of them, I had eight, ten of them. Put them in the freezer. And I thought I could just thaw them out and stretch them out and they'd be just fine. Nope. I was able to salvage one skin out of the whole bunch, but one and a half. But uh, the freezing thing ain't going to work, but I got this one done. There you go. Now this knife is going to, well I'm not going to mention any names, but uh, going to Ohio, I won't say that much. <laughs> now I'm going to give it away right here, but I don't think this guy watches my videos anyway, but uh, this is a custom 3D printed handle. Alright, just, just regular bait knife. Now the bait knives I have on the website, uh, y'all look those up, check them out. Very, very sharp. This thing is scary sharp. It will cut. Now I left these, these teeth up here. Or you can cut frozen bait with it, or the, uh, the best way to use it, or one thing you can use it for, because sometimes if you get a large, like around here, we use mullet for bait a lot, cut mullet, and the scales are real big, very big, bigger than your thumbnail. You take that, knock the scales off, and then cut your bait. Because a lot of times fish won't bite a bait with, um, scales on it, bones in it, that kind of thing. As far as my experience anyway. Now I've got a leather welt right here. The blade side goes to the whip. Okay, this is a two-piece sheath. Different than most of them I make. But the skins I had, that's, that's the way I had to do it. Anyway, there you go. That one's ready to go. I'll get it mailed out the next day or two. And with all the trouble with these, with the gar skin, with the catfish skin, I didn't get a whole lot done like I wanted to today, but um, that's okay there's always tomorrow. <coughs> Pardon me. I got this one cut. I hadn't ground it yet. Got it cut. This is going to be very nice. This is for a lady, this is for a lady knife, a lady's knife. They're going to like this when I get done. And I'll show you that. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll be done with it, maybe the next day. Quick as I can. And your other knives that go with this, I'll get on those tomorrow too. And I've got a few to make. A few to put handles on. I'm not terribly, terribly busy. So remember what I said before about Christmas. Uh, it's coming up. So y'all get your orders in if you would, please. Uh, I could use the work. Uh, and there is a reason. I almost hate to say this. And I'm, nobody take it the wrong way. But there is a reason why I make the order. You order. <coughs> excuse me. You order it, we talk about it, you pay for it, and I make it. I've got three knives sitting on my desk in the house that I made before I got payment. And that's why I don't like to do that. Um, I mean, 
because the budget, I said before, the budget is tight. Very, very, very tight. Now, if you bought five or six knives from me and I know you, and you say, I need this, I'll pay you next week, fine. No, no big deal. I'll get it done for you. But, um, no. first time, second time, or people that order, I need payment in advance. That's, that's the way I work. And I'm not going to show the knives that I've got ready. I'm not going to call no names, nothing like that. But that's just, that's business. Business 101. That's the way it is. And if I don't get payment on those, after a period of time, I'll just, I'll show them to you and I'll put them up for sale. Still won't call no names, because I ain't all about all that. So, uh, let's take more, one more look. There is the catfish skin. I think it turned out real well. Now this one still has a little bit of a fishy smell to it. But I like it. <laughs> Fishing knife is supposed to be fishy, right? One more look at the knife. And let's go ahead and take another look at Chris's. Chris, there's yours. There you go. Stamp on the back, Maker's Mark, Old Glory on the back. And it is right at 6 o'clock. So it was way past time to go inside. Uh, Mama's at work. She'd be at work for a little while longer. And if she was home, I would be inside with her. But since she's at work, I'm still out here. So. <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. My new, new subscribers. Still getting a few new ones in here and there. Thank y'all for being here. I appreciate it. I really appreciate your support. Uh, you don't have to order a knife to be a subscriber. Just hope you enjoy what I do. And if you don't enjoy it, tell me you don't. Whatever. Like I said, no telling what you're going to see on my channel. So, upcoming projects. Got some more knives to show you in there too. So thank you all for watching, thank you for your support, and I will see you later.